Hey, how are you? Today I want to talk to you about the Gonzales treatment protocol for cancer patients. Dr. Nicholas Gonzales was practicing in New York City until his death about two years ago, and his protocol had three main components. One was an individualized diet. Um, part two is an individualized uh, supplemental program, and then the third part is a detoxification routine. And Dr. Nicholas Gonzalez based his work off of the, the theories and work of Dr. William Kelly, who I mentioned in a, a couple videos ago. And Dr. Gonzalez talks about Dr. Kelly's experience with cancer patients in his book, One Man Alone, right here, um, documenting a bunch of case studies and going into um, the theory and the, the history of Dr. Kelly. Um, so Dr. Gonzalez had a partner, or yeah, he had a partner, Dr. Linda Isaacs, who is still practicing in New York City today and seeing cancer patients. Um, and so the their protocol, Dr. Gonzalez and Dr. Isaacs, um, like I said, number one is a personalized diet. And this is really interesting, I think, because one of the number one questions that I think people have who have cancer is what should I eat? And there are so many different opinions out there. Some people think that you need to be vegan. Some people think a vegetarian diet is best. Some people think a ketogenic diet, which is super high in fat, um, is best. Um, yet in the Gonzalez protocol, there is such a wide variety of diets. It ranges from vegetarian to um, eating a lot of red meat like two to three times a day. And it's all based on a person's autonomic balance, um, the balance in their autonomic nervous system and different like physical and um, psychological characteristics. It's, it sounds really complicated, and um, I think it is. <laughs> there are different surveys that people could take to determine their metabolic, or, you know, um, to see how balanced their autonomic nervous system is and determine what metabolic type they are. And the questionnaire could go up to 3,200 questions, like 80-something pages, and... I don't. I have no idea how you could access this kind of questionnaire except by going to Dr. Linda Isaacs. Um, and even if you were to take this questionnaire and and get the results, there's not really good way to interpret the results on your own. You need a a professional. And and I, honestly, I don't know of anyone who uh, another practitioner who's using this Gonzalez protocol. At least not using it. Um, accurately. Um, so this diet, um, some people, people who have a sympathetic nervous system dominance will eat a largely vegetarian diet and the, your sympathetic nervous system is your flight or flight response. So if that part of your nervous system is always or overactivated then you would do well you would do best on a vegetarian vegetarian diet, whereas someone who has an overactive parasympathetic nervous system, which is your rest and digest um, part of the nervous system, uh, which helps you digest and uh, rebuild and repair, then you would do better on a more uh, like a meatier type of diet. So part two, the supplemental protocol, uh, or the the supplement part of the protocol. This includes large doses of pancreatic enzymes and it may not be um, the reason that you think you need to take them. So pancreatic enzymes help you digest uh, proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Um, but when they're taken, um, specifically the protein digesting enzymes, proteolytic enzymes, when they're taken between meals, which is when uh, the Gonzales protocol recommends that you take them, then the enzymes circulate in the blood and they they gobble up um, damaged and defective 
cells, including cancer cells, or at least that's the theory. Um, and part of this theory is based off the work of Dr. Beard, who believed uh, or studied how the um, placenta, which is formed in a woman's body when a baby is forming, it acts like a cancer. And um, babies actually make proteolytic enzymes as a fetus in the woman's body. And even though a baby isn't digesting anything, um, they're not digesting anything in their stomach, so what's the reason for the enzymes? Well, Dr. Beard and Dr. Kelly and Dr. Isaacs, they believe that they play a role in helping the placenta turn, um, change its character, um, to stop acting like a cancer, and then it just changes function. So, uh, yeah, that's the reason that they use the proteolytic enzymes. And then um, they also use protomorphogens, which are um, hormones, stimulants, um, to help glands, organs, and tissues be more effective. And then they also use other digestive aids like pepsin, hydrochloric acid, and bile salts to help digest the food that you eat. So the third part is detoxification using coffee enemas. Uh, which helps stimulate your liver and, and bile duct to release toxins into um, your, your colon and then get eliminated when you go to the bathroom. And that's to help with removing the toxins and the broken down and dead cancer cells from your body when you're going through this healing process and you're eliminating the cancer from your body. And then they also use a liver gall bladder flush and um, another way to detoxify is to stop taking enzymes after a certain period of time if you get flu-like symptoms or experience a healing crisis where you actually feel sick and need to take a break from the uh, enzymatic treatment. Um, and then, yeah, one thing I forgot about the diet is that um, I believe carrot apple juices are prescribed in this diet. So... That's what I've been learning about, and I hope I helped you understand the Gonzales Protocol a little bit better, which has been used to treat many, many cancer patients successfully. I consulted with Dr. Gonzales, or my mom reached out to him to see if he could treat me uh, for my melanoma, but he didn't think that he would be able to help me. And, and I don't know the specifics behind that. It could be because I had prior treatment. Um, he believed that prior treatment could decrease your chance of success of having remission long term. So, um, you know, it's not for everyone, and not everyone who reaches out will be able to be accepted by Dr. Linda Isaacs. Um, but if you do want to reach out to her, her website is drlindai.com, D R L I N D A, the letter I.com. Um, so, it's an option that's that's out there and if you want to know more I'd love to hear from you and um, yep so I hope you have a great day um, and I will be talking to you soon take care